Well, let's get back to the national and international stage. Only a day removed from President Biden ending his bid for re-election. The race now to replace him at the top of the Democratic ticket, it's shaping up. President Biden, along with several top Democrats, has publicly thrown support behind Vice President Kamala Harris. She raised nearly $50 million in the immediate hours after President Biden's exit. NBC's Alice Barr has new information from Washington. With the political world drastically shifting, Vice President Kamala Harris is looking for solid ground in the first full day of her presidential campaign, praising President Biden after he announced he's dropping out of the race for the White House. Joe Biden's legacy of accomplishment over the past three years is unmatched in modern history. She did not directly address the president's endorsement for her to be the nominee as top Democrats line up to support her from former President Clinton to former House Speaker Nancy Pelosi and Congressman Jim Clyburn. She is well equipped to prosecute. I'm going to emphasize to prosecute the case against Donald Trump. Other leading Democrats stopping short of a full endorsement for now. She's exciting the country. And so I'm looking forward to sitting down with her. The 59-year-old former prosecutor, California Attorney General, U.S. Senator, and first female vice president meeting today with campaign staff after promising to earn and win the nomination. I don't think that her performance as VP has been notable. And being the first black woman president, potentially, it was just very exciting for me. The Trump campaign forced to change gears with President Biden's age and mental acuity off the table, now tying Vice President Harris to what they see as the administration's weaknesses, especially border security. The vice president's nomination is not a lock, though the party is hoping to swiftly unite to take on former President Trump. In Washington, Alice Barr, NBC News. Back home in the state of Idaho, local politicians weighing in on the president's announcement. Boise Mayor Lauren McLean released a statement on social media saying in part, quote, President Biden, thank you for all you have done for our country throughout your career and especially for all you've done for and with Boise the past four years. From passing the most transformational climate package our country has seen to chips, charging stations, housing, child care, and so much more, you've shown how deeply you care about investing in people. Across the other side of the aisle, the Idaho GOP did not see Biden dropping out as a good decision in terms of the voice of the people. In a statement, the Idaho GOP discussed how the Idaho Republican Party was able to preserve the voice of the people by holding a nominating caucus that was certified at the national convention. They then said that the Biden dropout after the Democrats held a convention to choose their national delegates. They said in part, quote, this means the Democratic Party will disregard the voice of the people and allow a small number of party elites to choose their nominee. What was the point of the primary campaign, they ask? The Idaho Republican Party is the party of grassroots. They continue saying they believe the right to vote is sacred and it is their duty as party leaders and elected officials to honor the voice of the people as expressed through their vote. I will tell you that our Jude Binkley sat down a short time ago with the chair of the Idaho Democratic Party. We'll expect to see his coverage and interview tonight on the news at 10.